What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Days Gone This is a part 27 of this series I hope you're still watching my version of this gameplay walkthrough and enjoying it And uh, yeah, so uh, I hope you will enjoy this series up to the end And yeah, let's get on with the game Let's check the map Okay, we have a main mission right there, but I think we have a side mission right here. We need to update Sarah. Let's go ahead and do that first. And uh, we will get on with the main mission right after. So, see what happens. I don't know if the game will, would allow us. So... We'll see. Oh, hey, me again. I know, I know. It's uh, been a while since I've been up here. It's just, um... Okay, we uh, had a run-in with the Rippers, uh, with Carlos. See, um, turns out, Carlos is actually this two-bit hood we knew from before. Back in the day, he was a fully patched member of the MC. Yeah, I know. What are the odds of him surviving? Jesse goddamn Williamson when so many others died. And uh, I never told you what happened to Jesse. Uh, well, you know, because you hate it when I talk about club shit. So let's just say that some bad shit went down. Really bad shit. Jack, he, uh, he, well, he kicked Jesse out of the club, but you can't take your colors with you. See, that, that's a problem. So, problem is Jesse had a mongrel's tat on his back, just like mine, you know? So, yeah, me and Boozer, Jersey Jim, we held him down while Jack, uh, took a welding torch to, uh, to his back. I knew that you would never be with someone who could do something like that. And, uh, hey, <laughs> you know, I would tell you that I've changed, but at this point, there's, there's no reason to lie to you anymore. I killed him. Jesse. I had to. I mean, guy was a goddamn psychopath. But, uh, we didn't stop with him. Boozer and I, we, we blew him up. Rippers, we blew up their camp, we drowned them like a bunch of sorry rats, and you know what? I'm not sorry. I just thought you should know. Okay. <laughs> I gotta go. Uh I'll I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Alright guys, there you go. Another update for Sarah. Alright, so same old, same old. We need to go back to the main mission right here. We, oh, we have a side mission there. Um, where can we fast travel? Okay, let's check Copeland's camp, or maybe I'll just cut out the part where I travel. Maybe I will upgrade things, same as the usual. I don't want to make a big deal out of it. We will just shortcut to the main mission right there. So, yeah. See you guys back here. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back here at Lost Lake. Let's check out. It's deep. Let him in. The main mission. See what happens. Ugh. a drifter brought in more meat. Man.
No, this is your clutch. I know where the clutch is. I, do you want me to show you how to do this or not? Yes, but I know where the clutch is. Okay, fine. All right, you do it yourself, okay? Fine. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? You can't park here. Uh, I'm just here to pick it's up private Sarah. property. Now turn around, get the hell out of here. Come on. Okay. Move it. Yep. Okay, uh, you know what though? I think I'm just gonna wait right here. You can go back to doing your guard the cornfields thing. This is Officer Moore at the gate. We got an issue here. Hey, listen, asshole, this is a restricted area. I told you, get the hell out of here. Hey, hey, you just wait right there. I told you. Move it. It's like I was trying to say, I'm just here you to pick up... Did you not see that sign? Oh, look at that. That's kind of hard to miss. I'm authorized to use deadly force. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Whitaker. It's, it's what, fine, I, Do you know this asshole? Yeah, he's with me. Oh, and Jim! Deacon. I'm not with her, she's with me. Hold on tight. Why do you always do that? Do what? Act like such a dick. Oh, come on, he started it. What are you, five? Hey, watch the cl I got this. Yeah, I can hear. Where are we headed? Over to the dam. That's a nice, quiet road, right? With you driving? No. Are we still going out tonight? You said something might come up. Oh, uh, crap, yeah. Uh, Boozer and the boys want to ride down to Clam Estate, visit Jack. So you're going to blow me off to go see some guy in prison? Jack's not some guy. I know, I know. I was kidding. Every time I'm on a bike with you, some idiot in a truck tries to run us off the road. Oh my god, no, 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 listen, 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 you did great, you did great. Uh, most people, they would have panicked, they would have oversteered, and that would have gotten us killed. I almost did get us killed. I was, <sighs> no, no. I wasn't paying attention, and I was distracted. Hey, it's okay, it's okay. Just breathe, you're okay. Wait a second, what, what, what did you mean, distracted? No, it's just stuff going on at work, it's nothing, I just... Oh. Okay, no, I just thought maybe you uh, saw my new patch. You're what? No. No, Matt? Wait, you, you quit the club? No, I didn't quit the club. I would never quit the club. Uh, uh, nomad, what it means is, um, well, I'll be less involved from now on. Dick, I didn't ask you to do that. Oh, I know, I know, and if you had, I would have said no. <laughs> you ready to try this again? Yeah, I mean, no, but yeah, I will. Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> well, you know, I do what I can. Hey, hey, the clutch, the clutch. I know what the clutch is. Oh, okay, no, no, the... Deacon. Oh, uh, I, I thought if I stepped back from the MC that, uh... I see them. Hey, are they, are they headed to your work? Oh, shit. What about the MC? Are any of them coming now that you've gone Nomad? I don't know. Uh, it's probably been a while since any of them set foot in a chapel. Uh, and you really want 27 Harleys rolling up in that little church in Marion Forks? You do. Uh, okay. What's going on? Uh, I don't know. Miss Whitaker. Yeah. She's been trying to get a hold of you, says it's urgent. It's always urgent. Let him know I'll be right there. Okay. 
I gotta go. Hey, hey. <sighs> Sorry. It's fine. It's probably just a fire alarm or something small. Okay. How come dead? <clears throat> Love you. Um, just call me later. Addie, I'm sorry. Whatever. Addie, whatever, Ricky. I'm sorry. Clearance. Clearance. Uh, O'Brien, this is St. John. Come back. O'Brien, this is St. Just answer your goddamn radio. St. John, didn't think I'd hear from you again. Yeah, neither did I. All right, listen, that night you bugged out. You told me that you didn't take any civilians. You just took uh, Nero personnel, feds, people with clearance. I told you. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Listen to me. Sarah, my wife, she had clearance. She had her ID badge with her the night that I put her on your chopper. So just do me a favor, look it up. Sarah Irene Whitaker. She worked at Cloverdale. She had federal clearance. She was doing, uh, I don't know, research, pharmaceutical. I don't know what she the hell she. Okay, great. O'Brien, remember, you owe me. Yeah, yeah. O'Brien out. All right, that wasn't a mission at all. That was just a very long cutscene. Being a couple of guys. Dink, Iron Mike's looking for you. He said, "Who's man? Listen, just their own people, feds, and people who had federal clearance levels." Wait, Dink, what the hell are you talking about? Look, it's probably nothing, but there's something I gotta do. Deacon out. Alright guys, so uh, we're going to this main mission right here. Um, do we need to fast travel? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, Alright, so that's, I'm going to fast travel to Copeland's. That is the nearest one. And uh, do the main mission. So I'll see you guys there. All right, guys. So we Copeland's camp. Now we're going. We're headed to the main mission right there. So hey, how's yeah. It going, man? Let's see how it goes. Uh, hold on a second. I'll get. It. All right, guys. We're at the area. Let's see what happens. Coles, hello? Sarah Irene Whitaker had a class 4 federal clearance left. Clearance left. The wife bugged out with a recon unit, east of Fort Rock. Take me there. No. No? Well, you got a ride. We're all friends now. The base is gone. What? A year ago. Local militia group. Militia group? Where's their camp? We don't know. How the hell can you not know? You got a helicopter. You got satellites. Somewhere around Crater Lake, but it's a no-fly zone, okay? They got outposts, rockets, RPGs. Crater Lake. Crater Lake. Oh, I want to tell you about the work we're doing. Studying the infected, the freaks. They're evolving. As bad as things are right now, they're gonna get worse. So um, the story is just getting clearer right now. Um, there's, I think this episode won't have. I don't know, Brian. I don't give a shit about any of that. Boozer, Booze man, come back. Yeah, Dean. Hey, listen, listen oh. to me. Uh, a year ago, we were with Iron Mike. We were thinking about riding south, but the Santium Pass was blocked. There was no way through, and he said that he knew another way. 
deep. Iron Mike, he's, he's not too happy with us right now. Just listen to me, just listen to me. Do you remember what he said? Iron Mike? Yeah, he was, he was bragging about knowing every road trail in a hundred miles. So there was a, a trail that went around Mount Theus. Tielsen, Tielsen, yeah, that's it. Tielsen Pass. Yeah, well, why the hell you... Shit. You've talked to... She's alive? Sarah's alive? Deke? Hey, listen, the O'Brien, they, uh... Boozer, he found her ID badge. Boozer, uh... I, I think she's alive. But a chance that she's alive, I... Well... I gotta find her. Goddamn right. Uh... Shit, I, I gotta go. Uh, Ricky and Daddy need, need help with the shelf or some goddamn thing. I'll, I'll see you when you like the Alright, it's night time again. Roads are dangerous. Hey, hey Ricky, um I I got some shit I gotta take care of. Are you coming back? Coming back? What, what do you what do you mean? Loser told us. Okay, look, there's nothing to tell. <laughs> oh shit. Damn it. Driving skills. <laughs> There's no way over the Sanium Pass, you know that. Yes, yes, I'm coming back. Listen, like I said, I got some shit to do. Deacon out. Let's get some gas pretty quick. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. It has come to my attention that some of you are out there working with Nero. The very same Nero we saw cut down a group of survivors not too long ago. The same Nero abandoned us here in this shit two years past. Some would call these people fools. But I got a better name for them. Traitors. And I assure you, I don't take treason lightly. But I am a reasonable man. So you get one warning. Listen God, yeah. up. Stop what you're doing. Now. Before we find you. Cause we will. And when we do, you will pay. That should be it. I'll personally string you up on the biggest tree I find. And while you Breathe in your last. We'll quarter you and feed you to the freaks you love. That is a promise. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Yeah, well, Cope, I gotta say, I don't like. Well, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.